and I'm quite happy to announce that he has not lost his kill to Impalas. So good, good job on his part. But let's take a look at him. He's just, 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 just laying down, sleeping in the wet grass. But I don't know for how much longer he's going to be sleeping. He could get up at any moment, really. He could go down to the pan to have a drink. But from this angle, he looks like he's got an exceptionally swollen belly. So he might also need to have a little cat nap, which is normal for leopards to do. But it's not just me out on safari this, this fine summer's, well, it's not even summer, this beautiful winter's morning. James is also driving around, and Byron, and probably in the next 20 minutes or so, will be out joining us on Bushwalk with Herbie and Ferg. And it's going to be another beautiful day out here. I think winter has finally settled upon us, or at least the early stages of winter. Crisp, cool mornings. But beautiful sunrises, the afternoons providing beautiful sunsets. And well, let's hope we have many, many more of those to come. Now, as I said earlier, I, we were all quite impressed to, to well, I'm definitely, and I'm sure Senzo is too. And we're very impressed to see that Hosanna hasn't lost his kill. And if you look just to the right of the tree, there's a broken branch. We just go a little bit to the right. There we go. And in the fork of the tree, you can actually see the impala carcass. So he'd killed a male impala. We're still not uncertain as to when it is. Maybe it was uh, two nights ago and we just didn't hear all the commotion. And he was just being very sneaky and hiding away. And, and that's the case most of the time. Sometimes you don't even spot something like a leopard, which has got the most amazing camouflage as they move or lay down in the flat, in the tall long grass. I meant to say lay down flat. <laughs> And it's going to be one of those days. But still a little bit of meat left, not too much. So I reckon he'll, this afternoon he'll move off and uh, head on to somewhere else. Though I hope he doesn't go anywhere. I hope he does decide to stay here. Because there are plenty of Impala ratting around. And, uh, well, we all know what's happening with the Impala rams at the moment. They don't quite seem to have their heads screwed on tightly. Which allows for a young, experienced leopard like this to take full advantage of them. Which is great. For, of course, Hosanna. But like I said, it isn't just me out here and this morning. James is bumbling about. He's going to look for anything, I think, this morning. So let's jump on board with James and Sebastian and say hello.